Apparently, in this discussion, Sneeko was advocating for child marriage, but the clippable moment is Moist being pro-trans. Do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting. <laughs> as you agree with. Okay, so as long as everyone... Your parents are okay with it and you are okay with it, I am. I think that's totally a fam familiar decision to make, yeah. Okay, so a child... Sneeko th directly threatened Moist last year, so they have beef. Well, this again, this is kind of like the... A, a child is something to be wedded, not something to be transitioned. Yeah, I know Sneeko's line. Um, it, I don't know. I know they've got beef or whatever, but didn't Charlie instantly win that beef? I don't know. It just seems kind of beneath him to talk to Sneeko. Like, Sneeko literally argues pro-pedo and Nazi shit. He was Sieg Heiling uh, on, like, D-Live live streams or whatever. It, I don't understand. I, it just seems like there are people who are so... There are people who reach a point of notoriety where they can only fail upwards. You know? Can cut their penis off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever, but they can't get married? <laughs> wow, I was making a joke. I hadn't actually seen the clip. Um, I hadn't actually seen the clip. I didn't realize he jumped that readily to... Uh, to, uh, uh, you're telling me that you think that, uh, ch children should be allowed to cut their dicks off, but they can't star in pornography? Are you insane? Um, yeah. Incredible stuff. Well, that's a decision that now extends beyond the family, because now you're bringing in a different party. So if you have someone that's your age coming in... Also, first of all, um, children in most places can marry, like... It's a whole thing. Republican state legislators are very insistent on keeping this. Uh, kids can marry, like, 17-year-olds can marry other 17-year-olds, and there's, like, varying state laws about whether or not the parents need to give permission or whatever else, so that's kind of variable, I guess. Um, the difference being, of course, that, like, the there's not really any, like, body of medical or sociological literature to indicate that having 16-year-olds marry each other, or, as Sneeko would like, older men benefits them or society in any way, or is there's a wealth of information to suggest that allowing uh, children to get hormone therapy or go in puberty blockers can, in fact, be beneficial. Sneeko's a pedo. He wants the age of consent to be when kids are... No, I know. He literally is a pedophile. Like, object... He's literally... He literally argues, like, child marriage should be a thing. He, um... He, he thinks the age of consent should be the age of maturity, which is uh, when, when puberty starts, which can begin at like eight for some people, you know? It's it like, well, I, I don't understand what the point of arguing this is. And saying, I want to marry that child. I, yep, I don't think that can happen under any circumstance. So, you, no. but it's still a personal decision. You're still deciding. It's, it's, it's but still, no, but if, no, because there's- Take a, the other party out of the equation. Decision, it's a personal it's decision. If I'm, or if I'm 16, and I personally want to marry this girl. She's beautiful. She's 21 years old. Her family- Jeez, dude. I, I do, I guess I, I appreciate sort of the honestness, or the, or the honesty and the sincerity, where they're not even pretending to be... Like, how can you call the LGBT groomers when this is the, 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 the argumentative strategy that you're going with here? You know what I mean? Just straight up a pedo, that's crazy. Yeah. Family wants to do it. My family wants to do it. You're saying I can't do that. We're both consenting. I'm ready to go. I'm physically mature, but I'm not allowed to marry because Moy says that's that woman's a pedophile. But if then the yes, you can as a child you can consent to some things, but not to other things. Like for instance, uh, you a child can't consent to sign a legal contract in many circumstances, but they can consent to have a delicious ice cream. That is true. Yes. There are some, sometimes some things are different from other things. That is true. Next day I leave it, I'm depressed. I want to cut my penis off. That's not what happens to youth. Usually it's hormone blockers at a young age if they are able to get it that early, which remember that one time that Matt Walsh went on Joe Rogan and Matt Walsh was like, you know, um, 
Every year, billions of children are forced to be sterilized in hormone blockers. And Joe Rogan was like, wait, how many kids is it a year? And Matt Walsh was like, uh... And then they, they, they looked it up and it was like, nobody. It was like, an, like a fraction of 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 a percent of the population. How do pe people like Sneeko? He sounds unhinged. Nobody likes Sneeko as a person. That's not the kind of content creator that he is. There is a type of content creator. It used to be Ice Poseidon. Ice Poseidon was like the main guy where you have a group of varyingly like 12 year old to 16 year olds uh, they tend to be nazis or at the very least like very politically disparate and he's a lol cow he's not supposed to be likable he's just supposed to be a freak that they laugh at but the weird thing is rather than exclusively laughing at him they prom primarily laugh at the people who he attempts to make fools of. It's kind of like watching the Eric Andre show a little bit, except without the irony. Like, Eric Andre acts a fool, but other people react weird, and you're supposed to laugh at the people reacting weird, even though you know objectively that Eric Andre is the one breaking social decorum. You're laughing at the people that he's epically trolling. The difference being Eric Andre is doing a show, and it's done through, like, the veneer of that presentation, and in this case, it's just like reality TV life action stuff, you know? Does that make sense? I like Eric Andre. Well, Eric Andre isn't a Nazi, which kind of, you know, kind of, you know, towards his favor. It was 3.5K over five years. Yeah, pretty, uh, Jesus. This is from the Daily Signal. This is the right wing trying to defend their point that there is a epidemic of trans children grooming or whatever, where they say... Over a five-year period, more than 3,000 minors underwent trans surgeries. So that's 600 a year in a country of 350 million people. And more than 400 of them had their genitals removed. So not removed. What they mean is bottom surgery. Nobody has surgery to have your genitals removed. They might mean an orchiectomy, possibly, uh, which is nowhere near as severe a procedure as genitals being removed. But that probably means the other 2,600 here were top surgery, a.k.a. getting your breast removed. Which, by the way, breast reductions for young people is... Uh, uh, not super uncommon? Like, at all? There was a girl in my high school who got a breast reduction when she was like 16 or 17. It was just because her tits were too big. It wasn't like a trans thing or a gender thing or anything. You know? So, 400 had some form of bottom surgery um, over five years or less than 100 a year. Remarkable. I can go right into the clinic, snip it off, and start taking HRT like Chris Tyson. That's a society that makes sense to you? I mean, that's not what happens, so that's not the society we live in. Normally, you have, like, doctors involved in this, in this procedure, and they don't just snip the dick off. No one does that. It is. I believe yeah, okay. everyone has complete... Yep. Do you think he speaks out of fear because he knows that castration is one of the things that they do to pedophiles when they get sent to prison? So he's, like, really obsessive about it? I believe everyone has the right to do with their body what they want to do. Oh. Yeah, I don't think critical is, like, always a good take machine or anything like that, but I am... I do appreciate him having a, a good position on this. Also, again, in a... um. In a debate with an with a person who is not only a pedophile, but often makes a public spectacle of their pedophilia, nobody talks about it. Hell no. Honestly, don't care if anyone's trans, but you can't do that to a child that's literally child abuse. Like, no acknowledgement of or addressing of it at all. When when have you ever seen uh, conservatives go after under any circumstances if it wasn't also like an anti-LGBTQ thing, right? Have you ever seen people like Keemstar or Sneeko or anyone go after um, like the Catholic Church or freak out about like the, 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 um, the collusion to hide priests who molested children? They defended Dr. Disrespect. Yeah, they don't give a shit, man. Drama YouTube is the worst. True. Chuz also defended Drake. Yeah, because Drake is a weirdo uh, file and Kendrick is left-leaning and they know it.